Hello everyone, it's Anella and welcome to Psyche Truth. Today the flow is going to be increasing the flexibility specifically in your hips, your glutes, your inner thighs and your hamstrings. I know all of those areas a lot of us lack so prepare yourself because this flow is awesome you guys. So before we begin we're going to go ahead and sit in a seated comfortable position here keeping your heart lifted and just make sure you relax your shoulders away from your ears here keeping your spine nice and long and and then we're going to bring our attention to our breath. Then from here, go ahead and close your eyes and let's take about five deep breaths. So take a deep breath through your nose. Here we go. Gently exhale. Inhale deep here. Exhale. And really just feel your breath here. Going into your belly, into your body. When you take a nice deep inhale through your nose, you're going to feel a little cool air going into your body. And gently exhale. You're going to feel a nice warmth coming out of your body to your breath. One more deep breath, rising both hands all the way up. Exhale down. One more time, deep inhale, rising both hands all the way up. Exhale, release it back down. Beautiful, and just take a second here before you open your eyes to send your attention for your practice to what you wanted your practice to be like. Be gentle with yourself, letting go of any judgment, and just being here now in this present moment, taking care of your body, your mind, and your spirit. Inhale deep here. Gently exhale. Beautiful. You can gently smile and open your eyes. Now we're going to come up nice and gently. And the first stretch is going to be to open up the hips and stretch out those hip flexors, the psoas muscle, which a lot of us have an issue with. So you're going to bring your, right, your left leg through first. Now you can stay right here and just relax. If you want to go a little bit deeper into that stretch, gently bringing your, your tailbone, your hips, everything forward and down. As you can see, as you're keeping that heart shooting towards the ceiling here, shoulders are relaxed here and just really gently going into that. This is called kneeling lunge. Um, this is a really good way to release that tension. As you can see, I'm not only stretching that hip flexor here, that psoas muscle, but I'm stretching my quads as I'm opening my hips here. And you can also rise your hands up if you like, or you can just keep them where, right here, just like that. Whatever feels the most comfortable for you. So go ahead and take a deep breath here. And gently exhale. And one more cool, uh, quick uh, tip here, guys. I know that some of us have an issue with this one uh, when we're doing this stretch for your knees. So sometimes you can put a towel or even fold your mat in half to place a little more support for your knee there, okay? Beautiful, let's come back to center and then bring your right foot forward. And then gently lift all the way up. And then drop your hips forward and down as you're going to sink into your mat here, keeping your heart lifted. Take two deep breaths here. Close your eyes and really feel your own energy. Really feel what you are doing right now into your body. 
with your body, the connection you have with your breath and your body. Really feel that. Your breath is what's going to allow your muscles to really relax and build the oxygen and then release that tension and toxins in the muscles. So just make sure you always breathe in here. Beautiful, gently coming out. And then from here, you're gonna gently come into that high plank and then bring your left foot forward. And from here, extend that back foot uh, down. And this is your cold pigeon. Now, uh, this one is one of my favorite because it really stretches out your glutes, it opens up your hips, and just builds a lot of mobility in your body. So, are your tips, um, are your hips really tight? Let me know in your, in the comments. I would love to know so I can make more videos for you guys on opening the hips. Um, I know I have a very tight hips. Um, I don't know if you know this about your hips, but we hold a lot of emotional stress in our hips. So if you have a lot of emotional stress in your life, this is a perfect stress you guys so one more deep breath here also you can come down onto your elbows in this posture here as well taking a nice deep breath beautiful gently coming back up and release shake that left leg a little bit and then bring your right leg forward and down. Again, when you're in your pigeon, try to stay on your shin versus on your glute. When you're right here like this, notice my body right here, you're not putting a lot of uh, tension in your hip opening here. So it's kind of like a lazy way of stretching in a pigeon, to be honest with you. So to get more out of this uh, stretch, really try to come up on that shin. And then you will immediately notice the shift in your hips and your glutes as well here. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath here. Exhale. Inhale deep again. Exhale with your eyes closed. And then gently come down onto your elbows here. And then hold it here again. So if you had an emotional day today and um, you would really like to release some of that tension from your body and, and your, um, your state of mind, so this is a really good stretch. This whole flow is actually a really good way to just, you know, release, detox, and just be more grounded and be more centered in peace with yourself through this flow. So the more you present here, the more you focus on what we are doing and focusing on your breath and things like that, um, the more um, uh, you will experience ultimately um, what we are trying to do here is increase the flexibility in the same time, you know, be more connected and grounded with ourselves. One more deep breath here. Gently exhale. Beautiful, let's come back up. Tuck your back foot in just like that and then shake that right leg. Ooh, beautiful, placing your knees down. And then from here, we're gonna turn around. All right, now we're going to move into a bow posture. This one is also, like I said, really good for your inner thighs and opening those hips. Now, if you have really, really uh, tight hips, I know sometimes it's really uncomfortable just being here because you're gonna be going like that and things like that. Or sometimes you can even put those yoga blocks. And if you don't have the yoga blocks, a really good way to uh, do this is you're gonna come against the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and move over here against the wall, nice and gently, just like this. Okay, so make sure your lower back, your entire back is actually um, against the wall here. Then you're gonna focus on keeping that spine nice and long here. 
Now you're gonna see there's no more tension, there's no focus on the upper body here because it's getting, the, the wall is giving it support. So now you can really bring all your attention to open up those hips and, and stretch out your inner thighs. Um, um, you're gonna take a deep breath here through your nose as you push uh, both hands down on your knees. So gently pushing it down towards the mother earth as you take a deep breath here. So go ahead, let's begin. Gently exhale. Now you can really focus in and opening those hips. Remember, they are going to try to be like this really tight and they refuse to let go. Go back close to the wall and again take a deep breath and push down. Gently exhale. Let's take two more deep breaths here. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Amazing. Now you can stay here as long as you like. Um, but if you're ready to go, move on to our next posture, we're gonna go ahead and come to uh, that one. So from there, we're gonna come back to our mat and then gently turn around, just like that. And then we're going to lay all the way down on our mat, nice and gently. From here, you're gonna lift your right leg and place it over your left knee. And then gently, your hands are going to go right underneath your, hamstring, your left hamstring and you're gonna pull your left leg towards you right here. Relax your shoulders down and then take a nice two deep breaths here. Again, deep inhale. Exhale. So also this stretch does very similar things that um, pigeon does. So if you have a issue with your knees, go ahead and do this posture rather than pigeon. Let's go ahead and switch our sides here. So again, placing our hands underneath here and pull. Here, taking two deep breaths. Relax down. Inhale deep. Gently exhale. Beautiful. Relaxing your legs back down. Now keeping that left leg still all the way up. Then from here, placing your hands onto your knee and then gently pull that knee towards your chest. But maybe even push your knee out just a little bit to go deeper into that hip opening here. So taking a nice deep breath into your hips here. So gently exhale. One more time. Pulling the knee tighter into your chest as you exhale. Beautiful. Then from here, you're gonna grab that left knee and move it into lying down, spinal twist here. Just like that. So again, in the spinal twist, you always wanna look the opposite direction. So you also stretch in your um, spine in your neck here as you pull that left knee towards the ground here taking a nice deep inhale exhale one more time deep inhale exhale beautifully gently coming back to the center here Straighten your left leg here and then grabbing that right knee and pull it towards your 
chest again open that knee just a little bit out like that so it goes a little bit deeper into that ham um, your hips because sometimes uh, our hip flexors are so tight they won't even allow your knee to go towards your chest but if you open your leg just a little bit out that allows it to be more focused on your uh, hips versus your hip flexor here so taking a nice deep inhale here Gently exhale. One more time, deep inhale. Pulling that knee towards your chest a little bit deeper as you exhale. Beautiful, coming back to the center and then moving to your left. Twist here. Ooh, that feels really good on my back here. Oh, did you hear that pop? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you uh, have any pops. It's a good sign. That means everything is kind of coming back together, going back to its place. So, taking two deep breaths here again. Gently exhale. One more time, deep inhale. And then exhale. Beautiful, coming back to the center here. Then from here, you're gonna bend your knees and bring them to your chest here. And then bring your forehead, if you can, towards your knees here, making your body into a tiny little ball and then rock side to side here. Beautiful. Awesome. Now we are going to move what we call happy baby feet or dead bug. I like the happy baby feet because, you know, I like to think happy versus death. You know what I mean? But in yoga, they call it a dead bug. I don't like it. So we came up with, uh, whoever came up with happy baby feet. It makes actually sense. And remember little babies, they lift their legs up and they go like, hey! Yeah, so well, it's kind of like similar to that. <laughs> I'm being a little bit silly right now. Um, so from um, in this posture, you're gonna lift your feet off the ground and open your knees apart, and then gently you can grab them from with your two fingers like that between your big toe and a little toe. You can hold it there or you can grab it. I like to grab it from the inside so I can really go push it down on my knees. And then gently you're gonna open your legs apart like that. As you're pressing down, your knees are going towards your armpits. You're pressing down on your, um, on your feet here and just gently rocking side to side here. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath here. And exhale. One more time, deep inhale. And then exhale. Beautiful, bring your legs together. Give yourself a little hug again. And then rock side to side a little bit. Beautiful. And then gently release here. How long do we have? You're 18 and a half. Perfect. All right, now we are going to have our uh, feet touching each other, so you're making that nice diamond shape here with your legs. And then tuck your tailbone in just a little bit so you, we are strengthening and lengthening that spine here. Then from here, we're gonna take about five to six breaths, so you're just gonna let the gravity do its magic here. Have your palms facing the ceiling. Close your eyes here. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Maybe take this time to meditate. Maybe take this time to let go of something that no longer serves you. Or maybe just simply being connected with your body and your breath and just noticing how the gravity is pushing down on your legs here. 
and just maybe quiet in your thoughts, quiet in your mind and just being in this present moment right now. And keep taking those deep breaths here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale in deep. And exhale. Again, taking that deep breath all the way into your hips here. Just imagine bringing your, your breath into the hips, making a little circle through that area, and then gently you're gonna exhale it all out. Exhale. You can stay here as long as you like. If it feels good for you to stay a little bit longer, please do. If not, gently start to bring your legs together, nice and slow. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and lay on your right side of the body here. Mm. Like a child, they call it this posture right here. Gently placing your left hand down to your mat and keeping your eyes closed here. And then gently walking all the way back into seated posture. Mm. My legs feel really good. I can feel my hips are nice and loose here. And thank you guys so much for following along. Make sure to do this flow three to four times to really help to increase your flexibility and also help you advance your yoga practice by being more flexible and being more mobile. Again, favor this video, share it with your friends, leave your comments or any questions below this video and uh, subscribe to our Psyche Truth for more videos like this. Again, thank you so much and namaste. You can find my full video library on Amazon and it's free for Prime members. You can follow along with me from your TV, tablet, or the Amazon app on your phone. So you can join me for yoga class virtually anywhere.